everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a, a vlog. This is gonna be different than any vlog I've ever done before because I am doing this vlog not only for myself, but I'm doing it for all of you guys as well. I have body shame issues. Just like any other woman, there's things about myself that I don't like. Basically, I'm fat. You guys only see from like, what, here up on my body most of the times. You don't see the rest of my curves and waves and jiggle and everything. I am actively trying to lose weight and the Garcinia pills tend to help, but you have to take those at a specific time and then, you know, exercising and all that stuff. So I'm in my, you know, do stuff around the house kind of outfit. I wear a sports bra and a tank top and, you know, I, I, I do stuff. So I'm going to take a sippy sippy break. <sighs> like bunny. So basically what I want to do with this video is I want to show you me. I want to show you everything about me. Um, and hopefully it'll make you guys feel better about yourselves. You control how you feel about your body, about yourself. And it's really important that you care about yourself, that you care about how you feel and you don't care about how other people view you because honestly, other people's views should not affect your judgment and your judgment of how you are and how you love yourself. So I'm gonna do this special video for you guys. I bought this new scale, or not bought, I actually got it to put a test and I'm kind of mad at it. it. I feel like it lied to me. Um, I will insert the clip. So this is the scale, we meet again. All right, so this scale is brand new. We're gonna hit the set button, turn it on. <clears throat> this one is interesting because you can adjust your height and everything so that it calculates correctly and it not only does the weight but it also does the body fat um, and the muscle mass and bone mass and water weight that you have so According to this, if you look on the little chart that it comes with, 44% fat. Um, if you look at the little chart that it comes with, according to this, I am off the charts, overly obese. Yeah, so according to this scale, I'm morbidly obese. And I honestly don't feel like I'm morbidly obese. Now, from this angle, you can only see so much. I'm gonna do a standing in my bedroom, you guys get to see my bedroom, um, and see a full body shot, and I'm actually not, I'm just, I'm gonna wear the sports bra, but I, I want as uncomfortable as it is for me, as if I'm wearing a bathing suit, okay? It's a bathing suit, guys, it's a bathing suit. So, I'm gonna do this, okay? I took my anxiety pills, I'm ready for this. Um, and yeah, so this is my body. Your thighs are supposed to touch. Thigh gaps are for SpongeBob, and you're not SpongeBob. So don't be SpongeBob. You don't need a thigh gap. Thighs save your phone from falling in toilets. Thighs protect your lady parts. And you know what? Don't be afraid to have stretch marks because you know what? Those stretch marks are really tiger stripes. You earn those stripes. Whether you gained weight and your skin stretched or you had a baby and now you have stretch marks don't be ashamed of that you created a human being inside you and that created those tiger stripes for you to 
think of it as a little decoration to your body because skin is not supposed to be airbrushed and perfect like it's in magazines. They touch all that stuff up. If you saw half of these people, like Kim Kardashian's booty, if you saw that unphotoshopped, you'd be like, but because they airbrushed it and put oil and made it all shiny, it's, it's supposed to be sexy. Sexy is real. Sexy is being yourself and not being afraid of who you are. And yeah, it's really, really embarrassing for me to stand up in front of the camera like this. But you know what? I don't care. I'm at that point in my life. I just, I don't care what other people think. I really don't. I love myself. Yes, I am overweight. Yes, I am working to lose that weight. And yes, it is very, very, very hard to lose weight. Whether you're a woman or a man, it is difficult. And the, the biggest thing is to love yourself for who you are. Like seriously, don't don't try to be something that you see in magazines. Don't, I mean, you can strive for that beauty all you want, go for it. That's whatever you wanna do to make yourself feel better. Me, I'm a hippie at heart. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm a hippie at heart. I love natural, natural beauty. Yes, I have a huge makeup collection because it's fun. It's fun to dress up and play, you know, pretend and look all gorgeous. But deep down inside, I'm gorgeous. I feel gorgeous and if anybody does not feel the same way and they think oh that stomach is nasty or um, I don't like that you look topless in half of your videos I I don't care what you think I really don't if you want to be my fan for me thumbs up if you don't want to be a fan or you don't want to subscribe or you don't want to like my things on Facebook because you don't like how I look fine does it look like I care this is my me not caring face me not caring face so basically what I wanted to do with this video was show you guys that I'm not perfect I'm not I have curves I have body, I have fluff, I have rolls, I have, I don't have a thigh gap. I don't want a thigh gap. I have wiggly arms and you know what? It happens. It happens to everybody. Even if you're a size two, it'll happen. One day you'll get them and you know what? You're not alone because there's a lot of women out there that have them lot of women and those women are ashamed of their bodies because it's the media that portrays all these stick thin no shape women and I have a problem I go to stores I go to buy pants one one I am way too short for all the pants that they have two I have a big booty and I have a small waist. Of course, it's like a muffin top because my waist is small, but my my stomach kind of, you know, oozes over. Um, but I have waist wise, I have a small waist, I have wide childbearing hips and I have a booty. So whenever I go to buy pants, they're 10 times too long, they're too tight in the butt and I, and there's like no way to button them. Like, or there's, I can button them, but they like fall off you know what I mean it's the reason why apple bottom jeans were invented because they have more booty space and hip space but they make the jeans most companies will make pants or jeans so that they fit straight they're not supposed to fit straight go back to evolution women were never straight stick thin they ate a lot of protein they ate a lot of meat. Women were childbearing. They would gather food for their families. The men would be all the physical hunting and stuff like that. The women you see in the catalogs and stuff like that, that's not how, that's not how we're supposed to look. That's not how we're supposed to look. 
we're supposed to be full-figured women who take care of children. You don't have to take care of children. You don't have to have kids. Don't have kids. Um, but we're not... What I'm trying to say, love yourself for yourself, for your curves, for your stretch marks, for your lack of thigh gap. I'm doing this for you guys because I love you guys and you guys are awesome. I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. Jiggle. See, I jiggle. It's natural. It's natural. Emotional, guys. I don't want to get emotional. I'm trying to be myself, but I'm trying to get my point across at the same time. And that just makes me all like, mm, and I don't want to make this emotional. I want this to be a happy video. Because we are women and we need to fight and show the world that it does not matter what other people think of us. My goal is to weigh 120 pounds again. I am currently, I think that's at 180, 183, and I wanna weigh 120. So I'm working at it, I'm working at it. But in the meantime, I, while I work at that, I have to love my body. And I don't wanna live, I don't wanna live my life hating my own body because that's just, I don't know why do I want to waste my energy on that. Why do I want to waste my energy on hating myself when I can waste it, you know, wanting things and needing things. And I love food. Dear God, I love food. I love food a lot. You've seen my, if you've seen my love with food videos, you know I love food. I love food. I don't have to give up food. I don't want to give up the food that I love because I'm afraid that it's gonna make people not like how I look. It's all a matter of perspective. Okay, now to get to my original point of this whole video is basically, I want to challenge you guys to post a video about you and how you feel about yourself. Post a picture of your body tag me in it at Rixie Pixie on Instagram at Rixie Pixie on uh, Twitter at Rixie Pixie on Facebook I'm Rixie Pixie reviews on Facebook post it to my wall tag me let's start a revolution of women with curves plus size women skinny women women of all shapes sizes and colors let's see those bodies let's get out of this stereotypical you know, perfection that is media. And we will still strive to lose that weight, to get in shape and to feel healthy. And the biggest thing about feeling healthy is not only is it the physical health, it's your mental health. If you cannot mentally get yourself healthy and start by feeling good about yourself in the body that you're in, that is the first step. The first step is getting mentally healthy because if you do not have the mental energy to get yourself in shape, if you do not have the mental energy to get up off that couch and stop eating those potato chips and do something about it, then it's not gonna help. It's not gonna help at all. You're not gonna have the motivation and you need the motivation. And that was the whole point of my video. So I'm challenging all of you guys watching out there to stand up, post a, a photo, post a video, and tell me about yourself and how you feel in your body. Yes, I can't stand my stretch marks, but you know what? Nothing I can do about it, so you gotta embrace it. Things you can do something about, do it. No excuses. You gotta do it. You gotta stay strong. And you got to stay mentally strong because if you're not mentally strong, you're not going to be able to do it. And you got to, it works hand in hand. Mental and physical works hand in hand. Do it.
you right there. You, you know, I'm talking to you. Do it. Do it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I love all of you to death. You make me who I am and you give me the opportunity to express myself. And for that, I'm so thankful. So I love you all. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.